How to mock up keepsake jewellery, easy photoshop tutorial. Hi, I'm Nikki Kaminga from Keepsaker Supplies and Tree of Opals and today we're going to mock up a twisted band ring with Blue Lagoon Effect stone using Adobe Photoshop. You can learn to move a stone from one ring to another. I had photographed a ring I had made for a client with a 10 by 8 mm oval cabochon in a rub over bezel setting. It had a classic band which is my 2 mm plain round ring shank. I wanted to be able to show a few different stone types in a twisted band setting too, so I photographed a setting without a cabochon stone. I wanted to photoshop the stone from the classic band over to the twisted band. How to edit the photos Open up your two photos in Photoshop. If you're already in Lightroom, hold Ctrl and E and choose the first option, edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. I just hit enter and repeat for the other photo. Go to the ring with a stone and choose the quick selection tool, which is a paintbrush painting a dotted line, or press the letter W to get the tool. Make sure it's on add to selection, then come down to the stone and click on the center of the stone. You can change the settings of the tool, but I find if there's good contrast, it automatically selects the stone perfectly. There might be more accurate ways of doing this, perhaps with a color range selection tool or with a curvature pen tool, but this method is fast and easy and always works well for me. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate this layer. If you click on layers, you'll see the stone is on a separate layer to the ring. Select the move tool. You can just type V to do that faster. Drag the stone up to the tab where you have the other ring, which can be a blank ring you've bought like this one from me, or a finished ring with a stone that's already there, like a lock of hair. Drag it to roughly where you want it to be on the new ring and let go. Next, you need to lower the opacity of the stone if you can place it perfectly. Go to layers here on the right and make sure it's on layer 1, which should be the stone. Then change the opacity to about 70%. Zoom in a bit. I like to control plus to zoom in, but you can also hit Z and click where you want to zoom in. Now move the stone around so it's pretty much perfectly in the center. Click on the corners of the box to warp the stone. Click on the curved box at the top, marked. Switch between free transport and warp modes. Now you can drag different areas of the stone out to warp it to perfectly fit the bezel cup. You can check back to the original image to see how it sits within the setting. The benefit of using Photoshop is that it can be a lot faster to get lots of images to use on social media and your website without having to take too many photos. Your client might want to see what one looks like before they're willing to buy. I'm busy designing a mock-up creator for my ring, necklace and bead settings where you can add your own designs. Look out for another video on that soon. When you're done warping, click the tick to commit transform, then go back to layers. Change the opacity of layer 1 back to 100% and you're done. Control and S to save and your mock-up is finished. You can close the file and also the original image, no need to save changes to that one. You can go back to Lightroom and in the library edit the title and description of the new image before exporting with your watermark. This video isn't sponsored but if you find it helpful please let me know in the comments. If you'd like to know about the camera I use, the tripod and light box or how I edit photos in Lightroom and Photoshop drop a comment down below. Would you like to find out how to get the perfectly white background with a natural shadow underneath? Don't forget I've linked to all the supplies I use for the rings in the video description, or there's a link in my bio, or you can just go to keepsakersupplies.com. Now, relax and do some crafting.